Welcome back everybody to Civilization 5 with me, Daniel, Civil Onion, Onion Grave 64, whatever you want to call me. I've moved a couple of turns ahead just because it was not anything happening. And I've come to the decision after having the break from the last section of videos where we ended up capturing a lot of the map as you can see from the bottom right corner. I've decided that we have to keep taking cities because... We need to guarantee that Hiawatha won't retaliate at any point down the line and we also have to make sure that we can take advantage of this situation before the US attacks us again. So we're going to continue and I'm going to uh, zoom out a bit, not that far, I've got a dodgy mouse, that'll do. We're slowly converting these cities using our great profit into Burkittism. So we'll keep on with that process as it is very important. There's a rifle incidentally in Buffalo that I didn't upgrade. I couldn't afford to at the time. Apparently Grand River fired upon me. How did it achieve such a thing as that? Um, it must have been an artillery or something. Okay, that's not a problem. Either way, this city's going down now. Uh, which unit do I want to use to take this out with? Use the Great War Infantry. We're going to raise this one for the simple reason that it is absolutely useless. There is genuinely no benefit to this um, location whatsoever. So we're not going to keep it. What we are going to do, however, is get back on kicking his bum at a more important location. Over here. Put that there because it's next to the medical horse. And we're going to convert Akron into Burkittism. Nicely done. And I've still got another spread left. So that's fantastic. Uh, move that there for a moment. Oh, okay. That's why I was fired upon. Because Grand River's literally there. Okay. I am fine with that now, I know. So we're going to move that here. Uh, what we're going to do is move one of these great generals forwards a little bit. We're going to fortify there. Fortify. Lots of fortification, please. Hiawatha, while I was off screen, by the way, did offer all of his cities to me. The reason I said no was because if I did that, my own happiness would escalate to like 40 and I'd be really stuck then so we're going to take them one at a time and raise any any of them that are completely utterly useless like Gwanda that was a really poor city uh, we'll have march please I like having marching artillery units if you're Sweden you get them as a free upgrade as part of your unique unit it's quite nice the uh, Carolines get that upgrade for no extra cost. And what it also means I don't have to just idle about in cities to heal. That's the ideal part. It means uh, I can mobilise troops a hell of a lot quicker. No doubt that will be very important if we take out the last few Hiawatha cities. We're not going to take them literally all out. We're going to leave them with one. reason for that is because I won't suffer the Diplo penalty if I do that. And temporarily, I can't build the Circus Maximus, because in order to raise a city, you have to annex it. So I will build a stock exchange and then continue building the Circus Maximus, because my goal per turn is only 21. And for this stage of the game, that is, like, atrocious. That's really poor. <laughs> Fortify. Right, where do we want to go with this next? It might be worthwhile going to Geneva. It will start converting these, but... I'm more interested in stopping my other cities from being converted, to be honest. So we're going to go off to Seville and start converting that. Um, we're going to move that there. Indeed we are, a bit closer to the action. Is there anything over here? Not really, no. Is there anything up here? No. No hidden units in which to bombard us on the return or on the counter, so... That has got to be a good thing. What I'm hoping is that the US will go for Hiawatha cities off to the east and leave me alone. Slightly wishful thinking, perhaps, but you never know. 
Our point score is dominating now. I think our point score's about doubled since this war actually started. That's pretty good. Considering only a very small amount of that will be technologies I've received. Upgrade, please. Bye, ya. Uh... The great thing about artillery is you see the little leaf symbol in the bottom left corner? What that... Don't be rude, game. What that means is that ranged units can fire over mountains and things like that, so long as another unit can see the target. Cannons and inferior techs and units back that way can't do that. Even the longbow can't do that, so... This is the first three ranged unit which can literally do that, so... That is why it is so important. Well, at least partially why it's so important. There are many reasons why you should like artillery. But that is a key one. Um, can I take this out? Yes. <laughs> Create a puppet. And my happiness is positive again. That won't last long, I can promise you that. Ooh, he actually has units. They are naval units, but he does have units all the same. Oh, and the unit US is here as well. Okay. That's changing the dynamic a bit, because it means I can't just go out like a headless chicken and just like berserk kill everything. I'm going to have to be a little bit more clever than that. So, the ironclad is a melee unit, so I don't have to worry about that too much. It's the frigate which isn't that I've got to keep a um, focus on a bit. Uh, what do you want to build here? Uh, get a bank. Oh! I wish. Ah, yeah, our gold turn shot up because the um, road must have been built finally between all these new cities I've acquired and my old capital. So that is fantastic. Gold turns up to 96. So it jumped about set mid 70s gold in per turn in one go. That is very, very nice. That city should have been raised as well by now. Yep, it has. It's gone. We really didn't need the iron that was there, so there was really no point keeping it. I don't think anybody, even Genghis Khan, is using it now. So, how are we going to approach this? Got to think this through a bit, actually, because it could be quite a problem. That's going to heal in the city, because that does not have... Uh, March, so it needs to heal. Oh, what do I do here? I'm going to have to park a unit there just for sake of, you know, keeping something in the area. And we'll put a great war infantry in there as well. That is the healing horse, so we'll leave it exactly where it is. That's quite catchy, Healing Horse. I like it. Sounds like the name of a uh, mythical pub. So, we have another castle. What else do we need? We need a theatre. Our happiness is actually up to five now. Doing rather well for ourselves, considering how miserable the Empire has been. We'll build a mint, because we now have a silver here. So that tile will get an extra two gold in it and become more useful. Because all the mines around the river have five production, one gold. The silver's not on the river. It has a production less, but a gold more. So, if it can have three gold more than the other regular mines on the river, that will probably make it worth using. Next turn, please. Oh my word! <laughs> I think the Empire wants silk. Does anybody have silk? Uh, nobody has any spare resources that I don't have. And Genghis Khan has literally no strategic resources at all. Does he actually have any money? Did, um, no. I might be able to sell him some rubbish, but alas, he is too poor. Tin of Beans has grown a population point, so that's good. Oh, that's not good. That isn't good. Um, oh, dear, 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 dear. The reason that's bad is because I definitely can't do enough damage on this turn to take that city out. So what I'm going to do is do absolutely nothing. I'm going to play a Luigi here and not attack at all. 
with the hope that with four artillery next turn, I may be able to take it out. I've just got to hope the US doesn't take it. I don't think they'll be able to, to be honest, but... It'll be close, it'll be close. Uh, where's the Prophet gone? Why, why is he there? Foolish fool. Luckily, I'm not going to convert Madrid. I don't want Spain to hate me. I'd rather they like me. They're not a particularly dangerous army for me to face if they did hate me. But there's no point in making enemies for the sake of making enemies. And I can definitely take that city out now. How kind of the US to beat it up for me. Very much a good job I was quick, though, because... Had I have left them another couple of turns, they probably would have taken this city out. Akron has grown a population point. Good for you. Right, let's fire and get this artillery a pounding. Well, that, that was easy. Boom. We're going to have to keep that as a puppet, otherwise the US would just settle there. So... The one great thing for that for me about this location is that if the US attacks me here, I can really easily bottleneck it. Like, incredibly easily. The question is now, though, where the hell are Hiawatha's other cities? Because I genuinely have no idea. He'll offer me every city again. Now I'm going to take it. Watch my own happiness. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, I've got to wait for this. There's six, eight, seven. Right, do you see what the problem is? If I'd taken all the cities in one go before, my unhappiness would probably be around 50. So now what I have to do is start converting cities like a madman and basically try and get this empire's happiness up as much as physically possible and I have to do it quickly because otherwise the empire will start revolting and blowing up all my own stuff so I have to be quick where can I convert um, let's see I'm going to have to keep the units down here to keep that flank empty the US I'll have to put some in Osininka uh, I'll leave some in Adrianople and I'll have to put some in Brantford other than that, I don't think I've got too many places where he could theoretically attack me, because even at the top of the map here at Antioch, I've got some units. So the question is, let's have a look at these. Uh, it might be worth um, raising Syracuse or Syracuse. It's a bit of a rubbish city, to be honest. It also will be sharing tiles with Salamanca, the... Um, Dear, the little island in the middle there, they'll be sharing inevitably in the end. So it might just be worth burning that down. Um, where are the other cities he gave me? I could have sworn he gave me more cities than that. Um, <laughs> where are all of these cities? Oh, hang on. I can see it on the mini-map. Okay, it's here. I might keep that just for sake of the fact that it's there and it'll be a good place as a naval base in case Spain was stupid and attacked me. Okay, so what we're going to do is crozzle this one when we can. We can't do it yet. I think we have to wait until the city's no longer in resistance now that we've chosen to not burn it. Which is a really stupid and backwards way of doing it, but that's how the game's decided to do it, so we'll run with it. How many turns are we off our um, wonder? Four. So in four turns, our unhappiness situation will get a lot better. How much better, I'm not sure, but it will get at least somewhat better. And a lot of our um, cities are building happiness resources, so that will help us as well. What I am going to have to do, though, is move a couple of these back towards our capital uh, in fear of revolt problems so we need to have something there to protect us so that is what we're going to do move a couple of our great war infantries up there we'll take a great general with us 
and that should help. Normally when it's a um, right, you maybe get three, two or three rebel units attacking you at once. It's not generally the worst thing in the world, it's just major annoyance. If you enjoyed the video you've just seen, please join my Facebook group and follow me on Twitter for the latest news.